Cooking is a pretty simple process that most of us do every day, so you would think we'd all be experts at it by now. But what hidden dangers are really waiting for you in your bathtub? Lurking in your loofah, frolicking in your faucet, or dripping down your drain? Every time you step into the shower, you're taking a risk, ranging from dry skin to massive infection. Don't worry, we'll help you clean up your act and protect yourself. Here are 10 things you should never do in the shower. Just in case you horrifically injure yourself while showering and end up in a full body cast, hit the subscribe button now. That way when you're recovering, you won't miss out on the latest and greatest from the hub. Shave your legs pre-petty. While not shaving your legs puts you at risk of looking less than fabulous in a sundress, it can have far worse consequences, especially if you shave just before your pedicure. When we shave our legs, the razor creates micro tears in the skin. This causes us to be vulnerable to infection, and getting your feet and lower legs worked on by a stranger certainly doesn't help mitigate that risk. Experts recommend waiting two days after shaving to get your pedicure. Fuzzy legs may not be the best accessory, but they're more attractive than a hospital gown. Wash your face. Let's be honest, at our best, humans are still pretty vulnerable. I mean, we don't even have claws or fangs. And as it turns out, being naked and covered in soap just makes us even more vulnerable. In fact, it impairs our ability to realize just how hot the water is. So we are more likely to splash water that is way too hot on our faces. This can be especially harmful if you have dry or sensitive skin. To avoid this, just wash your face at the sink instead. But make sure to peek in the mirror in case a lion tries to sneak up on you. Using an old shower head. While many of us consider the iconic scene from Psycho to be the scariest thing about a shower, the real danger might come from your shower head. Besides hot water, your shower head is likely spraying out potentially dangerous bacteria that has built up inside over the years. On average, water coming from the shower head has 100 times more bacteria than water from the tap. You can try using a metal brush and scrubbing your shower head clean, or you can sit down and relax in a nice bath. Tough choice. Forgetting a bath mat. You remembered your soap, shampoo, and conditioner. But what about when you step out of the shower? If you're not stepping onto a bath mat, you could be putting yourself in serious danger. While it may seem obvious, over 230,000 injuries occur in bathrooms each year, according to the CDC. Of those, 20% are due to slipping. So invest in a decent bath mat or you may end up showering in the hospital. Using a loofah. Few things make you feel cleaner than scouring your skin with a loofah. But if you haven't washed yours recently, you may be doing more harm than good. Loofahs work because they pull away your dead skin. However, this skin then becomes trapped in the loofah. Add to that the warm, moist environment of the shower, and you've got a perfect breeding ground for mold and bacteria. This can be especially dangerous if you have open wounds or freshly shaved skin. Just to be safe, let your loofah dry completely after use and replace it every three weeks. Showering at night. Do you shower at night or in the morning? There's no wrong answer as long as you're getting clean, right? Well, it turns out there actually is a definitive answer to this age-old question. Showering in the morning adds a couple of minutes to your daily routine, but showering at night may make it more difficult for you to fall asleep in the first place. The hot water from the shower can throw off your body's natural temperature. This makes it harder for you to fall asleep if you try within a few hours of showering. Ideally, our bosses would just let us squeeze in a refreshing shower in the middle of the day, after nap time, of course. Hey, we can dream. Showering too much. Wait, but we just heard all about the disgusting bacteria hiding in our loofahs and shower heads, and you actually want us to shower less instead of more? Actually, all that dead skin you've been so desperate to remove is better off on you than festering in your loofah. Your dead skin forms a layer that protects the healthy skin underneath and keeps it moisturized. Removing that protective layer too often can actually damage your skin, so just don't shower too much. Or not enough. It's pretty simple. Why are you so bad at showering? Using the wrong soap. Okay, so if we have to shower less, we should be fully utilizing that shower time with an arsenal of germ-killing soaps. Antibacterial soap seems like a no-brainer. After all, product testing of bacterial soap was an unmitigated disaster. Turns out, regular old soap is pretty darn good at killing germs on its own. And not only are the ingredients in antibacterial soap incredibly harsh on your skin, they may also be adding to the rise of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. If we can appeal to your desire not to see super bacteria wreaking havoc on the population, perhaps we can appeal to your vanity. 
Antibacterial soaps strip moisture from your skin, which can cause premature aging. Washing your hair too often. If we are washing our bodies too much, it stands to reason we're doing the same to our hair. Washing your hair strips it of its natural oils. How often you should wash your hair depends on your hair type. Anywhere from once a week for curly hair to up to three times a week for straight hair. Besides shampoo and conditioner, think of all the money you'll save on hair dye. Even using specially formulated products, washing is the biggest enemy of your dye job. By cutting down on the washing, your hair will remain vibrant much longer. Waiting too long to moisturize. So you've showered off as hygienically, yet sparingly, as possible. Now it's time to grab a towel, step out onto your perfectly positioned bath mat, and lounge around in a towel for as long as possible before getting dressed. But before you plop yourself on the couch, make sure to moisturize. As soon as you exit the shower, the air begins to wick away moisture from your body, so you want to apply moisturizer as soon as possible. Experts recommend no longer than three minutes after exiting the shower. However, no word on how soon after the shower you have to apply clothes, so that part of our bathing ritual is safe. For now. We all love standing around for ages in a piping hot shower. But who knew something that feels so good could be so bad for our skin? So what showering mistakes have you been making? You can answer us after you throw out your loofah. Learn more about the amazing aspects of everyday life by washing, I mean watching, The Hub. Subscribe before you suds up, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.